Okay, so I'm going to do a quick video on how to take a PNG or a JPEG or something and turn it into an SVG and a vector image so that you can get a little bit better options, resize it, and so forth. So this will be pretty quick and sweet. So I'm just going to drag in a image, just any image. This is a, uh, a PNG file, and as you'll notice, the layer automatically changes it, well, because it is image and image. And so if you resize it, now you're going to get distorting and so forth. So you want to leave it. You don't want to touch the size of it, even if it's really small. And then you're going to go up to Tools. And you're going to make sure it's selected first off. And then do Trace Image. And then your Trace Image comes up. Now, um, I would recommend leaving the cutoff at zero. The threshold is where you're going to, you can see the pink lines. If you scroll your mouse button in, you'll see the pink lines. Those are what's already has traced the image. If you slide your threshold lower, see they're going away more, does a lot more. Um, you can kind of like play with the different, how the intensity that you want to do it. Um, what I would recommend is zooming in to a particular point. Let's just say the tail right here. If you use your right hand mouse button you can drag this around and if you'll notice we are tracing the image here but I would want it to be out a little bit further it's kind of been kind of tight so if we move it to the right a little bit let's just say you see how I'm moving it and the line is actually going outward a little bit it might be a little bit too far now when I come in a little bit right about there let's just say let's just say 130 so that's a little bit better and you'll notice see the 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 round I'm, I'm using my mouse button to roll and see how it's round here that's where your smoothness is if you turn your smoothness down um, you'll notice like if I do zero you'll notice it's just squares now see our squares but you see it's just straight lines there's no curves to it nothing like that so you can kind of play this smooth this a little bit one is about pretty good you don't want too much because then you're gonna have too much of a rounded corner um, and you can also click show points and that will show you your actual node points of where it's doing the curves which I'm not sure that really matters but for the most part what you're going to want to do is adjust this threshold that's going to be your key zoom into the different areas that you're going to see where the transitions are and zoom back out use your right hand mouse button to zoom around kind of make sure that the lines are going through and then click OK. Now when you click OK you're going to have two layers. The first one is going to be your original image and the second one is going to be your new one. Um, of course I always like to click reset the default and then click OK. Um, so now that the SVG one is highlighted let's hide the first image turn it off and now we have just the SVG file. So now this is actually a vector. So as you can see we just trace that as a vector and then you can choose fill in line whatever you want to do with it but the nice thing is is you can get a much smoother burn out of that and if you click it you can resize it without getting any type of distortion at all so that being said I'm going to show you a little bit different that was easy so let's delete these layers actually let me just click start start over so I'm going to show you a little bit different one here so this one is a PNG file that I just downloaded right now so this is going to be a little bit more trickier because there's a lot of little areas and you're going to have to kind of play with it a little bit. So click on the image, go up to tools, trace image, and I would recommend zooming in and um, you're going to have to just kind of go in and out. If you already noticed just by default the 128 here, you know, I'm not getting any of the bird. See the bird's wings, none of that is coming in. Um, everything else isn't too bad but none of the birds so just for the heck of it if I click OK and then I'm gonna hide the first layer you'll notice the birds gone and if I actually clicked fill in line it's gonna fill in the whole inner part here but the bird has no detail to it and it just doesn't look right so I'm gonna undo that and then I'm gonna go back to tools trace image and I'm going to zoom into this and I like to just pick the part that I'm having trouble with and kind of zoom in a little bit there and then we'll adjust this a little bit. So if I go lower, just even a little bit, 20, you notice now that it's coming in now. See how now it's kind of starting to trace a little bit of that. 
and that actually looks pretty good right there to be honest with you but um, just kind of zoom in use your mouse button zoom in and make sure that you're getting what you want the smoothness is okay you don't want it too smooth actually that could actually probably come down a tad I'm just gonna say 800 so it's not too rounded so I can get more detail there but I'm gonna zoom out and it actually got this as well use my right hand mouse button to scroll around looking through here looks all good actually um, it's got the stars this all looks pretty good here it's going right along the line um, Air Force actually that looks pretty darn good I have to say whoops did that again um, so my threshold was 107 and I kind of lowered my smoothness a little bit so when I click OK again I have two layers I'm gonna turn off the first layer of the image and now I have the second layer which is my vector and that actually looks pretty darn good so now I can click on this and I can choose fill in line and it actually is um, pretty darn good actually um, if you look at it see now you can get more detail and the nice part about it being a vector is it'll be you don't burn it as an image so it just burns that one part you don't get any fade you don't get any bleed from the background and most importantly you can actually resize this so big and if you'll notice you lose no resolution whatsoever and that's pretty much it from there you would just you know fill in line whatever change your settings or however you want to burn it to whatever you want to do but that's pretty much all you really do for the um, doing as a vector I hope that you followed that let me rewind that back up a little bit again there's my image if you go to tools trace image and just kind of play with this knob here do you like it I had what was it 107 you can actually click on it once and then use your cursor keys on your keyboard to adjust it accordingly yeah, it looks pretty good and click OK hide the first layer and then click away from it and there's your vector we'll, we'll just change it to fill in line and that's it it's pretty easy hope that helps Jungle.